I'm on the Carnival Liberty. I'm going to do a full tour. This is Jason here. I hope you enjoy the tour. Let's go ahead and get started right here on the main pool deck. When you walk out onto the main pool deck from the front of the ship, you'll find two hot tubs. If you'd like to relax in one of the hot tubs, you have a great view of the big screen at the main pool where you can watch events, concerts, movies under the stars. Grab a fresh towel here at the towel hut if you want to hang out at the pool. If you'd like a drink, head on over to the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. Also across the way from the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar is the Red Frog Rum Bar. Try one of their signature beers or grab a rum punch. While you're hanging out by the pool, if you get hungry, you can head right on over to Guy's Burger Joint, order a burger tailored to your taste, and then head on over to the toppings bar and load it up with fresh toppings. You can also head across the Lido and head on over to the Blue Iguana Cantina. Try all you can eat tacos or one of their burrito bowls and then head on over to the salsa bar and load it up with salsa and hot sauce. Both of these dining venues are included in your cruise fare. Yay! Straight ahead, you'll see a slide, another pool, and another hot tub. So there's two pools in this area. There's a smaller one up here and then there's a bigger one. Also up here, all the way at the front of the ship, you'll run right into the Serenity Adult Retreat. Cruisers say they love this area because it's so tranquil and it has a lot of comfortable seating, a couple of hot tubs. There's also places to sit here at the front if you want a little bit of privacy. You can grab a towel at the front and you can sit at the bar and have a drink if you like. If we go all the way to the back of the ship, we'll find the Seafood Shack. It charges either by the pound or by the dish. This is not one of the complimentary dining venues. Right behind the Seafood Shack is Swirls if you'd like to get yourself an ice cream and there's also a drink station for coffee drinkers. Back here there is also a couple of hot tubs right in front of another pool. Right next to the pool and across the way from the Seafood Shack is Pizza Pirate. And right in front of Pizza Pirate is a pool bar, which has an excellent view of the pool and the hot tubs back here. Let's head on into the Garden Cafe, which has a wide variety of different food options. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. By the way, if you're looking to book on the Carnival Liberty, make sure you give me a call. I'm going to put my 1-800 number there on the screen. Of course, We've been on most of the ships and we also offer discounted pricing. We're considered one of Carnival's partners. We work directly with the cruise lines on a daily basis and they allow us to help you out and offer you excellent discounted pricing. Just keep in mind that to get discounted pricing, you must give us a call. These rates are not posted on our website because these are unpublished rates. They're exclusive to you and Carnival offers them to us at an exclusive rate. So if you like to save money, and I know you do, give me a call. Up here, you'll also find the basketball court. And if we cut across the basketball court, we'll find the putt-putt golf course. Right here is the smoking section. If you'd like to work out while you're on board, head on over to the gym. And keep in mind, you can also sign up for a yoga or a Pilates class. Make sure when you come on board, you check out the schedule. You can head right around the corner to the spa if you'd like a massage or a facial. Also, ladies, you can head on over to the beauty salon and get your hair and nails done. Gentlemen, if you need a haircut or a beard trim, head on over to the barbershop. And for a relaxing time, you can get those toxins out in the sauna or the steam room. Let's head on down to the lower decks and we'll take a look at the sports bar. To watch all the sporting events that are taking place while you're on the cruise, check out the skybox. It's pretty cool. It goes right into the casino. So after you watch the game, you can come shoot some craps or play some blackjack or check to see if there's any poker tournaments. The bar here in the casino is an excellent place to mingle. People are usually generally more talkative on a cruise, but even more so in the casino. 
So the casino goes right out into the promenade, which is pretty cool, and we come right upon the cafe bar where you can order a specialty coffee. To the left is comfortable seating where one can relax and enjoy the views. Down the way a little bit is the game room. You'll need your key card to play these games. They do not accept actual money. Over here is the nightclub. So if you want to get your groove on a little bit later, come on into the nightclub. A lot of times they do have dance parties up on the Lido deck and then head down here. A cool spot to grab a drink before or after dinner is the Alchemy Bar. If you like to sing along with other guests, family members, or friends, check out the Piano Bar. Right around the corner from the Piano Bar is the Steakhouse. Now the Steakhouse is part of the Specialty Dining. If you'd like to know what the difference between Specialty and Complimentary is, I'm going to place a link down below the description of the video under Dining, so check out that link. Here at the back of the ship is the main dining room. This is part of the complimentary dining. All the way out the back of the ship is the Victory Lounge. You'll find different entertainment events that take place here. And this is where you'll watch the comedy shows. Right around the corner from the Victory Lounge is the stage where you can enjoy live music and a cozy setting. All the way at the front of the ship is the theater. So if you like really cool shows and live entertainment, come check out the theater. Let's go ahead and head on down to the atrium. There is an atrium bar. They will usually have live music and different entertainment options here, so check your activities guide. Also here, you'll find the shore excursions desk and right around the corner from the shore excursions desk is guest services also on this deck you'll find the other main dining room this one's a little easier to find because it's right in the center next to the atrium one of the main restaurants will be open for breakfast and lunch if you'd like a relaxing environment you can take a look at the cigar bar Thanks for joining me on the tour. I'm Jason Newquist with CruisesIt.com. Remember, if you have any questions about booking or would like to receive an excellent discount, make sure you give me a call. Have a wonderful day.